Hi, Stuart Smith here with you for Life the Basic Manual. Today I wanted to talk to you about recovery and perhaps we'll have a few topics to talk about, but let's let's first talk about the definition. Uh, the definition, one definition would be uh, a process of change through which an individual seeks to improve their health and wellness, live a self-directed life, and strive to reach their full potential. You might look at that in the categories of health, home, purpose, and community, and how you're improving in those categories in those areas. From the beginning of time, we've strived to improve and increase our capacity, our knowledge, our living conditions, <clears throat> uh, sought to find purpose for our lives and be connected with other people. That's part of the human condition. Recovery s applies to substance abuse disorder and mental health. Both of those uh, rob you of those key components and often we're doing self-destructive behaviors and engaging in activities that might be looked at as counterproductive to our own self-interest. Process of recovery, we start to improve and uh, increase in those areas. So what does recovery mean for an individual? Well, for every individual, uh, how we get into trouble on mental health and substance abuse disorders looks a lot different. Uh, there's some patterns that uh, people might share, but uh, every one of us is an individual. And our recovery is an individual process too. And so how we relate to and how we uh, are motivated to engage in the recovery process is up to us. <clears throat> I'm going to talk about you know some of the pathways that people go to. Many, uh, of course, the most famous would be the 12-step tradition, and many people find uh, a lot of help in there. So there's a ton of ways to be able to uh, do 12-step. Uh, uh, I think there's uh, hundreds of 12-step organizations that are uh, doing that. But <clears throat> for others, they don't find a good fit in 12-step. And so there's some secular options, there's some cultural options, there's some faith-based options, there's some other uh, kind of more uh, engaged, uh, kind of natural, uh, homeopathic type of uh, pathways that people do. And for many, a combination of all of the above. At the end of the day, is recovery is not something that you can learn about on YouTube. And it's not something that you can learn about by reading a book, although, as you can see, there's hundreds of books about there. It's not something that you're going to learn at church. But all of these things might give you some information that you can then go process and find out what recovery means to you. So I talked about that process of change through which you can improve your health and wellness live a self-directed life, and strive to reach your full potential in health, home, purpose, and community. And that comes from the Substance Abuse Mental Health Administration, SAMHSA's working definition of recovery. But those are very broad categories. So, you know, what I encourage you to do as you're exploring the topics of recovery is find, just like at a buffet, you don't necessarily pick up everything along the line, you'll find some pieces that work for you, some that you want to leave behind, but try a lot of different things and find which ones fit best for you.